क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट इज व्हाट इज फिनॉल्स एंड व्हाट आर द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इट एंड नाउ इन दिस टॉपिक वी वांट टू टॉक अबाउट द नॉमेनक्लेचर ऑफ फिनॉल्स सो नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड इट So friends, as you know, that is there are two systems. That is common name system as well as the IUPAC system, or we could also call it as IUPC system to give a nomenclature to a certain compound. So based on that, let me talk about the first thing that is supposed to be common name. So if we talk about phenol, then phenol is the one that consists of a benzene ring on which basically OH is directly attached to the benzene ring. But in this case, where the OH is attached to the carbon atom, so that carbon atom is considered to be carbon atom one. This is two, three, four. Five and six. Suppose if other substituent, it could be OH also, or it could be other group also like methyl group. And suppose if it is attached to the carbon number two, then that substituent is basically attached on the ortho position with respect to this OH or with respect to this carbon atom. So that's the reason that carbon number two and carbon number six they are considered to be the ortho position with respect to where the OH is basically attached to the carbon number one. Talk about carbon number three. And carbon number five. Suppose if the substituent is attached to the carbon number three and carbon number five, means that position is called to be meta position. And suppose if the substituent is attached on the fourth position, that means opposite to the position where the OH is being attached. So therefore, this fourth position is basically known as para position. So this was nothing but the common system for the nomenclature of phenol. So now let me give you certain examples so that we can understand it better. So friends, these are the two examples, and for which we can understand that how we can give the common system or common name to the phenol. In this example, as you could see that here it is the OH that has been attached to the carbon number one because this carbon is considered to be the carbon number one whenever the OH is attached to it. But if you observe CH3, so this CH3 or this methyl group is attached to the meta position, and that's the reason that the name of this compound is called to be M-methylphenol. And the two examples are nothing but cresol. But the thing is, this is the meta position where the CH3 is basically attached. So that's the reason the name of this it could be also called as M-cresol. While here. We could name it as because this CH3 is attached to the para position, so that's the reason the name of this one could be called as para methylphenol, or we could also call it as that is P. This P stands for para para cresol. So this is how basically we name the common system or we give the common name to the compounds, and in this case, it was nothing but a phenol. So now let us understand that how we can give the IUPAC nomenclature to phenols. So friends, now we are going to understand that is how we can give the IUPAC nomenclature to compound, and that is nothing but a phenol. So in this case, basically, as you could see that this is the benzene ring on which basically OH as well as the NH2 groups are basically directly attached to it. So therefore, whenever the OH group is attached to the carbon atom, that carbon atom is considered to be the carbon atom number one. So therefore, the rest of the thing. We will start in numbering while carbon number two, like carbon number three, four, and on. But if we talk about the substituent, so the substituent is attached on this side, so that's the reason the number should move towards this side only. So that's the reason we are not numbering this as carbon number two. We'll number this as carbon number two. This would be carbon number three, four, five, and six. But in this case, basically, this is nothing but a phenol, or basically we could call it as a parent phenol. But this is nothing but a group that is basically attached to the carbon number three. In the phenol, so therefore the name of this could be given as three amino phenol. That means on the third position there is an amino group in a phenolic compound. So that is what I was talking about. And now let us move on to the next example. So this is the another example, and let me talk about this also. That is how we can give the IUPAC nomenclature to this one. So here basically the OH is attached to the carbon. So therefore this carbon is considered to be carbon number one. So therefore the rest of the thing it would be considered as carbon number two, three, and so on. But from which side we will number it from this side or this side yes it is from this side the reason behind that is because towards this side we can find a group that is basically or we can find a substituent that is basically attached to the benzene ring or the aromatic ring so therefore this will be considered as carbon number 2 this is 3 4 5 and 6 but if we observe this group this group is nothing known as benzyl group so therefore the name of this one could be given as 2 benzyl phenol Here two represents the position of the substituent, and that is what 
on second carbon atom basically we have benzyl group and the rest of the thing is nothing but if you know so this was the second example and now let me move on to the next example so friends this is the next example and for which we have to give the IUPAC nomenclature so here basically we can find a benzene ring CH3 OH and Cl they are acting like a substituent but to which carbon atom we would give the carbon number one so here basically as I have said earlier only that is where the OH is attached to the carbon atom that carbon atom is considered to be the carbon number one and which one is the carbon number two so therefore either we can move in this direction or that is we can call it as anti-clockwise or we can call it as through clockwise also we can give the numbering but the thing is where the methyl group is basically attached so therefore that carbon is considered to be carbon number two this one would be that is one two three four five and six so therefore the name of this compound it would be given as six chloro the reason behind that is i am writing chloro because obviously we have to follow the alphabetical rule also so that is the reason that it is known as six chloro two methyl and overall it is nothing but phenol so this was the name of this compound and now let us move on to the next one so this is the last one that we are considering here as an example so here what would be the IUPC name for this structure so since OH is attached to the carbon atom over here so therefore this one could be named as carbon number one but the carbon number two should be given to that carbon atom where basically we can find the substituent very near to it so therefore this one could be given as carbon number two this is three carbon number four carbon number five and this is carbon number six so therefore the name of this one could be given as because the two nitro groups are attached to the phenol ring so that's the reason that we could name it as two comma four dinitro so therefore the name of the parent compound is nothing but phenol so therefore we would name it as phenol so therefore the name is 2,4 dinitrophenol. So this is how basically we can give the IUPC nomenclature to certain compounds which are nothing but phenols. So that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have got to know that how you can give the common name as well as how you can give the IUPC name to the phenol structure. So thank you for it. I hope I will see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.